Hello, and it's Sarah Waggle, astrologer and leadership coach here for this Moon Astrology Tarot. Uh, this time for the Moon in Aries. This is June twenty eighth through the thirtieth, um, and of course you can look for the links below for the Cancer season, Sun and Rising signs, and then there's the twenty twenty four practical tools video. Um, and all the other links to buy me a coffee book with me, all of those sorts of things are below. And I believe another one of my fun chart readings came out this week. Um, and I think this was Steve Jobs' the one for this week was Steve Jobs. That one's well worth watching. It's very interesting. Uh, okay, so this new this moon in Aries, this is the waning moon. This is also the third quarter square moon. Um so we're, and also Saturn stations retrograde on Saturday, Saturday, the 29th. Uh, so we're finally, although to be fair, it's stations retrograde, but it's going to be at 19 degrees for the duration of cancer season. Um, so if you are someone who has um, planets or points at 19 degrees of the mutable signs, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, um, you know, this, you could be feeling, um, a little tension with that Saturn or it's, it's forcing you to get disciplined and get down into business with things, um, and really be attentive to the things that you need to be responsible for. That's what Saturn does. Um, and of course, too, if you have planets or points in the water signs at 19, um, so Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio, um, you could be feeling this as well. So, but that would be more of a trine, a bit more harmonious. Um, so you still get that, that, you know, disciplined, emotional, um, spiritual vibe going on. Okay. So moon in Aries, uh, third quarter square moon. It's also going to square, um, Venus in cancer and Mercury in cancer. Yes. Okay. Um, so I, I'm not sure what I feel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure what I feel. I don't think this is going to be an easy moon cycle. Um, this could be really tense. Um, this is Aries energy. It's the first fire energy we've had in the chart in several days. Um, and it's the moon. So moon, Aries moons can be feisty, can be abrupt, like I don't want to say unpredictable, but maybe that's the right word for this moment in time. Unpredictable. Uh, they could be kind of erratic, irrational, you know, all of those sorts of things, but it, they can also kind of be emotionally volatile. Um, and that's kind of what I'm feeling is uh, the, the sort of the volatility of mismanaged or unmanaged emotions. Um, and so you know, I talk about emotional intelligence all the time. And there's a reason because when the moon is in certain spots, um, you know, our emotions can be triggered. And if we are not um, well managed emotionally, um, it can create friction or conflict where there doesn't need to be, or maybe it's friction and conflict where there absolutely needs to be to create change or to create, you know, something to go a different way. Um, so there could be some action oriented energy but i will caution that action oriented energy with this set of circumstances really could be um could be what's the word i want here um could be erratic could be chaotic could be abrupt could be like too impulsive that's the word impulsive could be too impulsive good lord um adjectives um i'm telling you this jupiter and gemini situation has got my brain on fog mode so i'm sorry <laughs> for the next year <laughs> i'm gonna do my best that's all i can do um Anyway, so what I, uh, that's what I feel is that this could be, uh, you know, impulsive, um, erratic, a little chaotic. Um, it's, you know, because it's a square, it's cardinal energy. It's also pa crossing paths with the nodes. Um, and 
you know, as long as these nodes are still in these cardinal signs, there's a lot of just, um, and like I said, in the cancer sun and rising signs video, it's we're reaching that point where it's breakdown, breakthrough, break up with these nodes heading into the, um, final decan of Aries Libra. And so, you know, this could be the most intense that we see of these nodal energies. Um, so there's, there's all that. <laughs> um, and then the Saturn retrograde, I mean, that's, that's, that's going to be for the next, like I said, it's at 19 degrees for the duration of cancer season. Um, and then it will move on to, um, move back to 18. Uh, so anyway, let's see what's going on with the tarot. Yeah. I literally, ever since Jupiter moved into Gemini, I've felt like a complete scatterbrain. Um, and maybe that's just my normal and I don't know it like as, as readily, but I feel like it's been more, I mean, I'm typically a fairly scatterbrained. I don't know, put any label you would like on me, ADHD, uh, uh, flaky airhead, <laughs> Like, I got it all. No, I'm not diagnosed with anything. Don't need to be. I don't need to be. I have my own verification. Um, I think I'm just not good with words, to be honest with you. Anyway, I don't know. I, I really feel like this could be a very intense weekend with that retrograde, although we've been feeling it for the better part of the last week. Um, but with a moon in Aries, I, it's going to kind of bring some things to a head perhaps. So anyway, let's see what's going on with the Star Trek tarot. Okay, Queen of Batleths, uh, Kalar, as one of my viewers pointed out, um, upright. So intuitive wisdom. Um, Batleths is swords in traditional tarot, so wisdom, and this is intuitive wisdom. This is um, trusting yourself trusting your gut trusting that you know if you see or feel slightly off about something then you're 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 probably right and go with that um and you know this is also kind of like being your your queen warrior self um and choosing uh ooh, choosing what is really worth fighting for and what's not um and being kind of you know, some shit's just not worth fighting for, even if you really want to fight for it. There's a lot of things that I would love to fight for, but there, there's a, there's a, a discernment about where my energy want and where my energy, where I really want my energy to go and where I don't want it to go. Right. So feel, feel into that for yourself. Like, you know, I would love to get on here and be like opinionated in all of the ways, but that's not the best use of my energy right? That would just create more conflict that I don't really want to create, right? I feel like one of the lessons or one of the things we can all open ourselves up to um, learning is that we're coexisting with all different types of people that Pluto and Aquarius, the South Node and Libra, like it's, it's this opportunity to acknowledge that we don't all have to agree, but I, I think I've said, that, uh, well, whether I have or not, I'm going to say it again. If there's a catastrophe and you need help, you know, are you really going to stop and be like, um, did you, did you wear a mask in 2020? Did you wear a face diaper? Did you, did you comply did you, do you, do you shop at Walmart? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you really give a shit? That person's there to save your ass and vice versa. <clears throat> if you're the one doing the, the rescuing, I think it's a, a time to really make those discernments of like, you know, is it really worth us tearing ourselves, tearing our collective apart over petty 
stuff. And I know for some, it wasn't petty. I get that. But what I'm saying, trivial maybe is a better word. But even then, that doesn't sound like the right word because I feel like somebody's going to get pissed because I'm calling it trivial. It wasn't trivial to them in their universe. So those aren't really fair words for me to use. Do you see what I'm saying? Like I, I could create a platform based on that, but like I want my opinion known that I didn't support it, but I don't want that to be my platform. My platform is astrology and supporting people, whatever their journey is. And I feel like that's one thing that we can all kind of gain from this time and space is to be less divisive and be more um, united. I don't even want to use the word inclusion. I freaking hate that. I'm so sick of that word. Um, but I, I, I feel like it's more about like letting go of a lot of a lot of things that maybe do feel heavy to us. However, to get through this space and time, we do need to work together to support each other and let go of, you know, whatever we all are holding on to that may be, um, that may be divisive or keeping us apart, right? I, I, I feel like that's a lot of, of this energy right now. Because they're not coming to save us. I guarantee the powers that be, they ain't giving a shit. We're going to have to save ourselves. That I will say <laughs> out loud and proud is that the powers that be, you can, you can, they're not coming to save us. We're going to have to work together if we want to save humanity, if we want to save our collective, if we want to save our communities and our country and all of the things. It starts with us um dream journal oh that's interesting so you could be if you are somebody who has vivid dreams um this could be an opportunity to start dream journaling um keeping a notebook by your bedside table or you know even your notes app open on your phone so that you can quickly swipe up and open your notes app um maybe it's your laptop or your whatever other note taking device that you use your voice recorder whatever um, maybe you're a, a video journaler. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like dream journaling uh, really just feel, you know, when, you, when it's one of those things when you wake up, you want to immediately be able to write down what you're freshly thinking about. Um, so dream journaling. Um, I like this. I did the, I've done this before. I have not done it recently, but I have done this before and it's been really powerful um, for me. I do know somebody who does do this and she, keeps just a file on her notes app. Um, she has really powerful dreams. So anywho, all right. And that's what I got for this moon in Aries. Um, and so hang in there. We all, we're all going to get through this. I promise. Uh, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you are a functioning human right now, give yourself a pat on the back because it is a, it's tough to be a human right now, but we're in this together. We're all going to get through this together. And so hang tight. Okay. All right. Talk to you on the next one. Bye.